Hey guys, Alex here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of two Full Moon Features released vintage VHX boxes. Okay, so I've got Puppet Master, which is VHS of box one, and Laser Blast, which is VHS box two. Now, the reason why I wanted to do an unboxing of these two collections is they both retail for $50 each, which to me is expensive, considering that Full Moon have a long history of rehashing and redistributing films that have already released many times in the limited edition collections. So really I wanted to see if your money is going anywhere and if in the long term you're actually gonna have any value in getting these. So let's start with Puppet Master, Vintage VHS Collection 1. I think this was released maybe halfway during 2000 and 2018, I think. Um, now, one thing to note with these VHS collections is the first 300 assigned. Now I only got this like a few weeks ago and I'm 188. So it's 300 are signed. So you can probably still get some signed from Charles Band if you want it. So let's jump into it. So the very first thing I notice is this is a huge box. Like this is my head and this is a typical Blu-ray. So let's take this around. First thing you can notice is it's got the original artwork of the Blu-ray Puppet Master and DVD, which I really love this artwork, so I'm, I'm really happy to see it again. Um, on the side, you've got a really nice VHS logo and the Puppet Master logo, as well as Full Moon, and you've got a serial number here, which is really cool. Um, oh, and also you've got one, which I presume if you line up all the vintage VHS, you will have a collection together. I really appreciate those little details, I really do. Um, on the bottom, you've just got the Puppet Master logo, and now on the back, you have got, you've got Blade, you've got a little, okay, you've got a real, little rehashing of what the product is, which is cool. Um, inside the package, we've got a remastered uncut Blu-ray, uncut DVD, I don't know why that's two points, but that doesn't matter, and we've got the Blade figurine in blister pack. Okay, cool. So there's not that much in this pack. It's really just the box, Blu-ray DVD, and Blade. That's okay. I'm still cool. I'm still cool. Let's jump into it. And can you see in there? Wow, it is incredibly hollow. Inside, the very first... Ooh, I think it all comes out together. So yeah, cool. Okay. So on the bottom, we have got Puppet Master. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay. There's a few things that you'll notice. Firstly, the artwork is incredibly different, which is awesome. It's a bit more of a gory cover, if you can notice. I'm really digging that. Um, Blu-ray DVD combo in one. Now, it says, restored and remastered in 16 times 9 widescreen, 5.1 surround. That's a selling point, apparently. Let me just check over here to Puppet Master, this Australian release from a few years ago that I think I paid about $5 for. And we've got 5.1, 16 times 9. Wow. Great selling point. Okay, so on the back here, you can see it's got, it's continuing the cover artwork from the front, which I really appreciate. I really do. I'm glad that they didn't just rehash the back of the other one. That's with Full Moon, you never know. They might rehash shit a lot. Special features. So this is something that I'm really interested in because I didn't look at the special features on the website, but I'm very curious. So, special introduction by Charles Band. Let's just refer to the other one. No. <laughs> no. So we have got a special introduction from Charles Band that isn't on the other Blu-ray. Good. I'm glad. I need more special features from Charles Band. I always love it. Promo for Puppet Master Access of Evil. Okay, that's not really a special feature. No strings attached, original making of from the first Puppet Master. Cool. Let's just double check that it's not here. It doesn't seem to be here, which is good. Okay, this seems to be limited to this, which is good. Um, original trailers from the first 12 full moon features. That's actually cool. First 12 full moon features. Okay, and at the bottom here, you've just got your credits. You've just got some data here. Some technical specifications, so region code zero, awesome, it can play everywhere. Then you've just got the R rating at the bottom here. Cool, 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 cool. Now let's open the bad boy up. Oh. Okay, cool. So, oof. Oh, that's bloody frustrating. The disc was out. Oh, is it scratched? Ah, that's, I hate that. They always gotta find a way to attach it. All right, so you can see in here, it's a dual-sided layer. I don't mind that. Anyway, on the inside, you have the artwork that is on, that's on the front of the Blu-ray. 
which I really, again, appreciate that they're not rehashing the inside of another artwork, that they're actually doing, you know, their own stuff for each of these releases. Thank God it's giving a little bit more value. Moving on. Now, what do we got? Okay. We've just got a flyer here for Laser Blast. Well, I've already got it, but that's okay. Now, the thing that we've actually been waiting for is the Blade Doll. That's, that's really sick, actually. Um, you know, I'm always interested. I've never bought any Full Moon toys because I don't really collect toys. But, um, you know, this was really cool. I was, I was really interested. They always release really cool stuff. There looks like there's quite a bit of detail in this little doll, which is, which is cool, which is, which is really cool. Um, it seems like it's, it's been made pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> you know, promoting their next product, you know, that's, with Full Moon, they're always promoting their next product. If you're buying something, it's also an advertisement for the next thing. That's okay, I don't mind. Um, yeah, the toy looks... So it looks really cool. Series one. I I also really like that. That you know they're doing toys for each series. Cool. We're done. We're done. Is it worth the fifty dollars? I mean, I paid twenty five dollars for this, and I feel like I just got my money. You know, I think that the Blu-ray probably worth about ten dollars. Um, the Puppet Master action figure. I personally don't buy buy toys, so the max I'd pay for this is like ten dollars, maybe. This is really what you're getting. This is the big thing about it. The vintage VHS box. I love it. I think it's fucking awesome. Um, that said, is it worth the remaining $30 that would equate to the $50? No, it definitely isn't. I mean, the signature is a really cool touch, but again, that's only limited to the first 300 people, so is it really worth it? Personally, I pay $25 for it, and I feel like it's worth $25. Do I feel like it's worth $50? No, definitely not. Okay, so we've got Laser Blast now. Now, this is a really interesting film because I've only seen it once. Unlike Puppet Master, which I've seen a number of times and I've watched the entire series, I don't really know much about Laser Blast. And, you know, this is a real cult film. A hell of a lot of people hate this film. The first time I saw it, I really hated it. Uh, I think I saw it one more time after that and felt a little bit better about it. <laughs> I really hope that I'm gonna like it more this time, considering that I just paid $25 or a retail price of $50, yay, for this laser blast. Anyway, this is 124 of 300. Um, we've got, still got the Charles Band signature. Okay, so let's get into what it is. So on the front cover, you've got the traditional laser blast Blu-ray cover, which I appreciate. The laser blast logo, VHS, full moon. And again, I love that they put, they put the number here. Oh, that, Fuck, I just realized, comparing them together, uh, you've got a reference number, product reference number, at which you don't have here. Ah, oh, that frustrates me. But then on the other side, you've got exactly the same <laughs> without the product number. Ah. Um, and then you've got Laser Blast logo, again on the top, Laser Blast logo. And then on the back, you've got a still from Laser Blast, much like the Puppet Master one. You've got, uh, yeah, you've got a synopsis, much like the other one, of what you're getting in the pack and a little bit about the film. Inside the package, remastered Blu-ray, DVD, Laser Blast, Alien Figure, and Blister Pack. Cool. So you can see that you've got the Blu-ray DVD here. You've got the Blister Pack there. And oh, you've got the product code here. They have a product code. Oh, that frustrates me so much. Let's take this out, and oh well, yeah, it's the same as Puppet Master. Okay, cool. So let's start with Blu-ray again. Um, cool. So we've got Laser Blast here. Oh, that's that's a really cool. Okay, so comparing, we've got a very different. Oh, sorry, we've comparing. We've got a very different cover, which is interesting. That's because I really love this cover. Quite a cool cover, I'm digging it, I'm definitely digging it. Okay, so on the back here, you've got, yep, a unique cover as well. I, I've seen the back of Laser Blast and this is unique. Um, okay, okay, cool. So you do have a little bit of a description here. Special features include new commentary by producer Charles Band and composer Richard Band. Cool, vintage full moon trailers. I'm gonna presume that that's the same 12 trailers from Puppet Master, but that's okay. I'm, 
I always, I always date that type of stuff. You've got the credits here, again, which is half of them are Charles Band or Charles Band's relatives. But that's okay. Ah. Ah. Rating R here. What the fuck? Laser, now, for anyone who doesn't know, Laser Blast is, is a children's film, essentially. It was given a PG rating. It's still a PG film. It's, it hasn't changed, even if it gets remastered. It's not going to go up to R. If I read this here, strong graphic horror fantasy violence, a strong sex scene with nudity and strong language. Sounds similar, actually. On the Puppet Master, it says rated R for strong graphic horror fantasy violence, a strong sex scene with nudity and strong language. Fuckers. They just copied the, they copied the R rating. This is the thing about Charles Band. He cuts corners. And it frustrates me when he cuts when he cuts corners. Moving on, we'll get on to opening the Blu-ray. Laser blast. Inside. Okay, so we've got interesting. Okay, so we don't have the same artwork from the front as like Puppet Master. We've got the back of it. Back of it. Across here. Yeah. Cool. Now moving on to the pieces. De resistance. Fuck. What the fuck? Charles Band, coming soon, Laser Blast. In the Laser Blast box! It's so lazy! Ah! Okay. Laser Blast, action figure. Series 1, interesting. Okay, so there's gonna be multiple series, multiple characters from each series. That's interesting. So this, this figure looks pretty, you know, cheap. I'm not gonna lie. This, this looks pretty cheap. I love the packaging for it, though. It is really, really cool. Packaging, well worth it. I think the toy looks a little bit like a McDonald's toy. To be honest, it, it really does. So now, we are completed with Laser Blast. Do I feel like it's worth $50 for Laser Blast? <laughs> no. Do I feel like I got my money for the 25 No. I don't. I really don't. La like, Laser Blast looks awesome. Um... You know, the Blu-ray DVD combo, it's really cool. Laser Blast action figure. Box is definitely worth it. For each of these, I feel like you're getting your money for $25. For 50, this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous that Charles Band can charge $50 for these boxes. It's basically cardboard with Blu-rays in there that, you know, cost 20 bucks and then action figures that retail for $10 anyway. That's crazy to me, but I know people will buy them and honestly, I would wait till it's on sale. Don't buy these for more than $25, please don't. Knowing Charles Band as well, I know that in a few years he'll have invented some other fan scheme to get more money um, rather than these vintage VHS. I wouldn't actually be surprised if he puts out an actual version of this where you get VHS copies um, as well as Blu-ray and DVD and all that jazz. Um, and it's kind of unfortunate that he didn't include, you know, like a VHS copy in this, um, even if it was for a bit more, you know, like $70 per one. I probably would have paid that, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Puppet Master, so I was always going to buy it. Um, I just waited for a little bit. I wish a little bit more effort had gone into the, these overall products. I, I really do. Anyway... I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of these VHS vintage collections from Full Moon Pictures. Thanks for watching and um, see you on the flip side.